Ever felt the bruise you never see after a therapy session? Let's discuss. Welcome to the Unreality Matrix, I'm Mac. And I'm Dog. Today, we're diving into a provocative topic based on numerous sources. One in particular is an insightful article from Eon.com called Psychotherapy is Not Harmless on the Side Effects of CBT. Cognitive Behavior Therapy or CBT, a staple in psychotherapy, is not an all-curative magic pill. While it's known for its positivity, it has undeniable shades that we need to address. Absolutely, the side effects of this common therapy ambit can be unapproachable. They include worsening of existing symptoms, new symptoms, distress, and even functional impairment. Interestingly, a lot of these side effects are quite underreported. According to a study published on PubMed, less than 1% of the therapy sessions reported any adverse effects. That's staggering. Despite the adoption of guidelines to report potential harms, most researchers appear to overlook or minimize these side effects, not doing justice to the holistic view of therapy. And let's not forget the limitations of CBT. As thecbtclinic.com points out, for instance, CBT might involve dealing with distressing situations which might not always be comfortable. That's right, Mac. It also requires active involvement, regular sessions, and homework, which can be taxing. It can't always cure symptoms from deeper past traumas or help if the issue isn't thought-based. Agree, dog. As Vice.com rightly puts, many clients experience increased distress. Some drop out as they feel re-victimized by having to focus on negative experiences repetitively. But we also need to point out that not all experiences are negative. Some argue that these feelings could actually help confront reality more effectively and accelerate recovery. Indeed, a balanced approach can minimize potential harms while maximizing benefits. Because adverse effects can open doors to unique insights, as indicated by a study on Madden America. All the more reason for patients and therapists to openly discuss potential harmful effects. This could foster better understanding, more adaptive therapy design, and clearer expectations. Couldn't agree more, dog. To sum up, while CBT is beneficial for many, it's not devoid of side effects. It's important for both patients and therapists to acknowledge, discuss, and address them. And to get more such insights, stay tuned to the Unreality Matrix with Mac and Dog. See you next time.